Dustin, of course, you're a you know, stranger to big fights, man. You've, you've had a lot of them. But I got to wonder, you know, this one main event on Fox against an opponent that looks like could be a lot of fun and a very meaningful fight. I mean, is this, does this week feel kind of special to you? It's a bit. I mean, this is a huge fight. But uh, this is my 20th fight in the UFC, and I've, I've gone through this process before. So I'm just having fun, enjoying it, man, being in the moment. Very nice. You're getting ready for a fight with Justin Gaethje. I mean, I know he's new to the UFC, but people know what he's about, right? I mean, it's it's going to be a car crash, I guess, getting in there. So I, I just wonder, is it, is it any different mentally knowing the type of fight that you're going to be in? I mean, I'm sure you'd love to go in there and one punch, knock him out, and be done. But knowing that that might not be the case, is it different to kind of like physically prepare yourself for what your body might be going through? You know, I know it's probably not the case, like you said. Now, this is going to be a battle. We're both going to be bleeding. We're both going to have to dig down deep. But I look forward to that. I'm a real fighter. And... Um, you know, pushing myself and digging down deep is, is what fighting is. And so it's nothing new to me, man. So, you know, the, the, the normal person, we say, oh, that's got to be a little bit scary or whatever. But in fact, you feel like maybe that's the, the truest test is to be pushed like that? It's more, it's more mental. You know, the physical work's done. I'm ready for five rounds hard, but it's more mental. It's like I'm ready to bleed. I know I'm going to have to leave a piece of myself in there Saturday night, and I'm willing to do that. I, I know what's at stake. I know the kind of fighter he is. I know the kind of fighter I need to be uh, to, to get the win. And, uh, you know, that stuff's intriguing to me. I, I appreciate that stuff. I honor that. That's what fighting means. It is. This isn't, you know, you don't play this. this that, Saturday night is the definition of, of being a fighter. You know, that feeling I'm going to have in there in the later rounds when we're both bleeding and I, I pull through and get my hand raised, that's what I do this for. That's amazing, man. Well, you know, we've, we've followed your journey for so long, man. I know you're not where you want to be yet, but does it kind of feel like everything's coming together? For whatever reason, it feels like right now, to me, looking at your career, like everything is kind of coming together for you to be at that that top level. Is that is that the way it feels to you too? Yeah, and I feel like it's coming together at a great time. I'm, uh, you know, just as a fighter mature, as a person mature, I'm comfortable with who I am. I, I, I know I belong here. It's just a good feeling. I feel really at peace with, with everything I've done. I know the hard work's gonna pay off. Uh, I've just been doing this a long time and I just, I'm, I'm in the right moment. I'm in the right spot at the right time. I'm hitting my stride. And the interesting thing, too, is, I mean, when they announced this fight, I think we all go, amazing, that's going to be a great fight, right? But then, because of the, the way things have played out over the last couple of weeks, you know, especially, now all of a sudden you go, is this like a number one contender type fight? Because it seems like it could very well have some serious title implications. I mean, with the way things played out last week and all that, I mean, are you, are you feeling that this, this could be that type of fight? I do believe it is. Uh, you know, I, I think this is going to be the number one contender fight. Um, We'll see what happens, but the division's kind of played itself out to where we're, we're here. This fight, it matters a lot. Yeah, definitely. You got to see Habib and the ring off pick up the title last week. It was, it was a weird week, to say the least. So start with Habib. Um, what did you think of his performance and, and watching him you know, claim the belt? I thought it was a great performance. He won every round uh, very dominantly. I know people were criticizing his stand-up, which he did pull his chin up a lot and make some mistakes, but he did not pay for it one time. He didn't, you know, he didn't really get hit with any big shots. His jab looked great. His timing looked good. It might be a little awkward looking, but it was effective. So uh, he fought a great fight, man. Do you feel like I mean, he's worthy of being undisputed champion right now? It's such a, such a weird scenario how everything played out, but do you feel like he is the undisputed champion right now? I feel like he was on his way to being put into the fight that would have got him to be the undisputed world champion, you know, but Al wasn't the number one guy or, you know, not that he's a bad fighter, Al's a great fighter and a dangerous fighter and a game fighter, we saw that, but uh, I wasn't the number one guy at the time or, so I don't feel, you know, he is the champion, he has the belt, he's the champ, but I don't feel like that was a championship fight. Yeah, no, that's understandable. I and mean, we thought what was going to happen right afterwards. Well, I mean, we thought a lot of things. And nothing against either guy. They're both great fighters, and Khabib was on the way and earned himself the, the spot to get that title shot. But I don't, that fight, didn't to me, didn't feel like a title fight. Just feels like maybe you need a little bit more definitive answer, right? I mean, we thought it was going to be Tony Ferguson. That would have been a pretty impressive fight. And even maybe Max Holloway. Just feel like maybe a little, a little more definitive answer. Yeah, or even me. Or even you. Well, talk about, I mean, we thought Conor McGregor was going to probably get the first shot, right? And then everything played out the way it did. What, what, I mean, as you're sitting back watching this thing, whole thing unfold in New York, what was, what was your reaction to, to, to everything that happened? I mean, it was, it was crazy. I, I, you've been in the sport a long time, so nothing surprises you, I'm sure. It's the same with me. Uh, I was like, wow, this is really happening, huh? This isn't April Fool's. Then, then, then uh, Max pulls out, and then we're scrambling for, for guys. You know, it's just... This sport is a, is a crazy thing. That's why, you know, you you always one fight away from from being the fighting for the belt, or you know, s such crazy things happen. 
Did you feel like this was a number one contender fight though before everything happened last week? Because it seemed like there were a lot of steps. Yeah, I, I felt like this to me, if I don't know if, about Justin or where he's at or how the UFC is looking at him, his trajectory, but for me, my 20th fight, ups, downs, climbing my way back to the top, getting knocked down, climbing my way back to the top. Um, I, I, for me, I feel like it is. Nice. So knowing how you feel about it, I mean, does it add, I mean, at this point, I don't think anything really adds pressure to you. Or, I mean, but does, is there a little edge? Is there a little emotion difference? Are, there, are things a little sharper this week? I mean, does this feel different knowing that maybe you are one shot away from a title? I just want to put, this is a five round fight. So uh, I just want to put together a great performance, more for myself than just to show myself that, you know, you're ready for that next step and, and you've earned where you're, where you're at. And uh, even if it gets to the later rounds, to show myself, you, you know, this next fight could be the title fight, then you're gonna have to do the same thing just to show, showcase my skills as a fighter. So going in there, know what's on the line. I mean, I think, again, people wanna see you two guys go back and forth, because it could be a hell of a lot of fun. But I mean, is there part of you that says, as you said, I wanna test myself, I wanna show that, or is it more like, yeah, I'm ready to do that if I can, but if I can start this guy in 30 seconds and call it a day, we'll do that. Of course, if I can get in and out clean, you know, clean hands and, and, and go home to my wife and daughter, that'd be great. But uh, I know this guy's tough, and I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get the win. Very nice. We've got another, another fight out there. You've got Edson Barbosa versus Kevin Lee next week. They might have a little say. Eddie Alvarez might have a little say. He's sitting out there as well. I know that's got to be a little frustrating for you. I mean, do, do you feel that there's other guys that might have a say that can put their hand in the air too? Or do you feel like you know, you've, got a, you know, you've got the clear inside track to the title? I feel like I have the clear inside track. Um, Edson's already lost to, the, to Khabib, who's the champ. Um, Kevin Lee got a shot at Tony. You know, Eddie's been ducking and dodging, slipping his way out of my hands for the last few months. You know, I think he waited himself out of it, and it's my turn. Would there be any part of you that would prefer to have Eddie on the way to the title, or would you prefer a shot at Khabib if, if you went impressively here? I want, I want the shot at the title. I'm not chasing rematch. I mean, of course I want to beat Eddie's ass because he's a punk, but... I'm chasing gold. I'm not chasing rematches, you know, or, um, yeah, it'd be nice win the belt and maybe he comes along and, and, and we fight there, but Eddie's very nice, man. Well, this is a big fight. I know that we're all excited about it in your head. When you play this thing out, man, how, how do you think this thing does go? Is, is this a battle or do you get it done? I mean, how do you see this thing playing out? I feel like it's going to be as easy or as hard as I make it. I'm going to be the guy in the driver's seat. Um, I just have to be the matador, you know? I have to use his aggression against him, use my uh, experience, my footwork and speed and timing, and, and show that I am the best.